Hello, I am Dr. J.V. Srinivas, Lead and Senior Consultant, Department of Orthopedics, Aster RBI Hospital, J.P. Nagar First Phase. Today, I want to just give a small uh, tips on total hip replacement surgery, which is commonly done. Total hip replacement surgery, andre sonta the keel inna marij marjod ne thahin alti wo hip replacement. This is the first replacement surgery started in the orthopedic field. Sumaru nalvat aid varshagale munde. This is the hip replacement procedure. This is the Monday with Marjodone, ankle, ugly, shoulder, ugly, elbow joint replacement. Hip replacement surgery is one of the most pain relieving surgery. Patient gets back to normal daily activities as soon as possible and most satisfying surgery. Andre, bare knee replacement, ugly, shoulder replacement, ugly, the satisfaction level is 60 to 70%. Irate. But hip replacement is satisfaction 95 to 100%. So this is one of the most successful operation which is being conducted in the medical field. 45 years back, we started with technology called cemented hip replacement. This is how the cemented hip was uh, made of uh, stainless steel stem, cement uh, metal head and polyethylene liner. Over a period of time, the technology has changed, science has changed, the designs have changed. Uh, design change either life first to Marti Daga with this approximately on the Adversa Bartita stay. Andre, uh, the people who undergone cemented hip replacement, normally the life was approximately 15 to 20 years, 10, 15, 20 years, that's all maximum. Today the technology has grown ahead. We have implants, much better implants, the articulation is much better. From the cemented technology, we moved towards cementless technology where the, once the implant is fixed to the bone at least 25 years of life birth it. but the whole uh, surgery the weak link was plastic the plastic used to wear off for after certain time today science is to go towards ceramic on ceramic hip replacement where patient can get back to a normal daily activities as early as possible he can go back to his regular sporting, sporting activities and activities of daily living like climbing stairs, getting down stairs, sitting on floor also is possible. This is about the implant. But who has to undergo hip replacement? Basically, hip replacement in our country happens for very few conditions. If you compare to the European community where because of its arthritis, in India the arthritis of the hip is less whereas knee is more. In India, the most commonly hip surgery is done for fractures around the hip joints where we have done surgery which has failed and lead to uh, some kind of damage in the hip joint, we have to do hip replacement. Or somebody is on a steroid medication for the medical condition, skin condition where the hip blood circulation fails, it is called avascular necrosis. Third most common is, as I said, arthritis of the hip which is less compared to knee. These are the three most common condition and the fourth is rheumatoid arthritis. Patient with rheumatoid arthritis would be having knee and hip arthritis, so they may require a hip surgery. In today's science, hip replacement is well advanced in a hospital which has all the infrastructure, surgeons are well, ex uh, and well experienced, you have a support team like ICU, medical uh, physicians, cardiologists, intensivists and the uh, anest good anesthetic. The results of hip surgery is excellent. After the surgery, patient is able to walk the next day and they will be back to the normal activity at three weeks. They will not have any pain in the hip joint. They will be able to perform all the daily activities including climbing stairs, uh, walking or mild jogging, uh, cardio exercises, driving two-wheeler, four-wheeler. Andre hip replacement ad mantra more work ke our normal activities ke out of bodu. Only aspatre ni yella infrastructure do operation mara onta tagner chana gidre. Ima kandita wagi 100% success ago onta sadhete irate.